Hi everyone, this video will be about the repainting of a 1989 vintage steel frame. The frame that you see here is the Le Mans Von 2, which was used by Greg Le Mans, I believe, in the 1989 edition of the Tour de France. Uh, this video will be part of a series of videos about uh, repainting this frame and then building a new bike out of it. Now, the frame that you see here has been stripped of its original paint. Um, it does appear a bit dark compared to other steel frames because I've already coated the frame with uh, anti-rust, what you call the anti-rust primer. Uh, this is a, a type of uh, primer that converts the, the rust into a kind of um, black enamel. Now this frame has had an accident once. It has crashed before by its uh, previous owner, the first one I believe. And if you look carefully here, there is a dent that I've uh, filled up with epoxy and there are also a, some minor dents at the top here also filled up with epoxy so the what I'm gonna do with this frame is I'm gonna um, Instead of spraying back, instead of uh, restoring it back to its original color of um, uh, blue, yellow, and red uh, flat colors, I'm going to use a cr chrome colors for it. Now, what the chrome needs is um, a base base coat of um, glossy black, like what you can see here with the fork. Um, here's the fork and I've already painted, I've already sprayed a three layers of uh, glossy black and I sanded that down three times. It's looking quite good here. And on top of this um, glossy black, I'm going to spray the chrome, the spray on chrome which I will show in the next video. So with this frame, I'm not going to uh, use the purist approach to rebuilding it. I'm not going to use um, the correct uh, period correct components such as uh, down tube shifters and such. I'm going to equip this with modern a modern group set, uh, modern wheels and saddles and components. But I will be using a quill stem and um, vintage uh, size handlebars, uh, the 26 millimeter handlebars, as well as, um, yeah, that's about it. It's, it's, it's going to be a mixture of vintage and modern parts. So I hope I don't get blasted by the purists for uh, mixing um, vintage stuff and uh, modern parts, because this is going to be a, um, a bike that I'm going to use for training, as well as uh, regular group rides and such. So the next process will be uh, laying down the primer for the frame itself and coating it with a, a black glossy black uh, base coat like this and then we'll begin the process of uh, chroming it with the spray on chrome. So be sure to subscribe to my channel so you won't miss out on the next episode. Uh, till the next video, I'll see you again. Goodbye.